Today we are talking about uh, the Scandinavian Forest X. Is a uh, I love this X. It's a felling tree X, and uh, it's not really uh, designed for bushcraft. But unfortunately, in this position, I can swing uh, a lot, and I can't use uh, the X for uh, its length. This is what we are talking about. Just to let you see how straight this cut is.
and this is what this X is capable of As you can see, splitting uh, and uh, cutting the wood, even for this size, uh, is nothing for this axe. Let's try this. This is bigger. Let's try it. Sometimes it's better to spend a few moments and have a, a stable position instead of try to keep uh, cutting with uh, the, the wood moving. This size, no problem. So, to process your wood for the winter fire, this axe is perfect. Complete perfect. You see? We've just uh, won two strikes. Told you guys, the sex is fantastic, fantastic, really. And uh, then also, it's also a good uh, exercise for your health to use the axe. And then uh, many people say that uh, the axe is dangerous. Okay, it's dangerous, but uh, if you keep a uh, few your attention is uh, much less dangerous than, uh, than uh, an uh, uh, electric saw or uh, another tipping type of chainsaw. So I prefer the, to use the axe.
the edge retention of this uh, steel is perfect as usual from Grassford Brooks, Brooks. You see the movement. with movements you grab the axe with this end then you take this other end on the head here then you you see this way you have much more power Then, with an axe like this, you can use also the rotation of your I can also split the wood here <laughs> As you can see, to make uh, all you need, all you need for uh, your fire with this axe is uh, really an easy job. Really an easy job. Of course you have to pra practice a little bit more with the axe than uh, with a, a simple saw, but uh, I like to use the axe and uh, then uh, as I said the edge after this use is perfect, while if you keep, keep using uh, your knife to split the wood you will have to take very good care of it because the edge no matter what which steel you use will lose in a few days
it's always good to, to use what you have uh, around. Okay. This um, dry roots should uh, should do the job. So as you can see, I've made my my fire with uh, the help of this uh, Scandinavian forest, without using my my knife. It's not uh, difficult at all. On the contrary. It's really enjoyable and easy. The, the sex is uh, really a bit um, big to fit in your uh, backpack. So sometimes it's more difficult, I understand, to keep it with you. And uh, this, this is the reason uh, Ray Meyers and many others bushcraft there's uh, prefer to use uh, the small forest but um, and that's a good reason to uh, and uh, I I also use a small forest myself many times but um, if you want to make less effort and uh, have more power this is uh, the perfect uh, companion for you and you can take this and uh, your knife only to go in the forest for uh, many weeks if you want and uh, it will keep the edge in a few week, uh, weeks uh, I'll uh, post another video comparing uh, this uh, Scandinavian with the small forest model so if uh, you subscribe to my channel or if you keep in touch you will see this uh, video comparison between the two models for this axe I've made uh, as usual my a good uh, sheet uh, of my own in leather because uh, I love leather and I love to work with it even if I have uh, to say that um, this axe has uh, all uh, axes from Grants for Brock Brook comes with a really good leather sheet
So the X is really mine and no one else. Thank you.